Hey everybody, this is Ahmed and you're watching Culinary Image. Some of you might know from my recent videos that I just came back from a beautiful culinary journey in Pakistan as a whole. So I was extremely blessed to join some really good chefs over there who were kind enough to share some of their recipes and the trick and traits how to cook some of their most royal dishes and mutton curry was one of them. Now the only twist that I've added to this dish is that I will not be using lamb. The traditional lamb that is used in this dish I will be using beef which is the ribeye cut. Why? We all know why. It's extremely tender and juicy and I would like to basically see for myself how and what it ends up turning out to be. With a little bit of twist on the spices as well, I will infuse it with some of my own spices rather than the traditional karai uh, spices. So let's not waste any time and bake it. One spoon of whole coriander. One tablespoon cumin. One tablespoon of Sichuan peppers. And four buds of chili flakes. You will start roasting the spices, I would say roughly around not more than two to three minutes. Saute the meat until it's nice and brown. Saute the garlic and ginger paste for at least two or three minutes before adding the other spices. Once you add the tomatoes, make sure you cover it with the lid and let it cook for at least 5 to 7 minutes. This way it will be easier to remove the skin from the tomatoes. the tomato. 
tomatoes until they turn into a fine paste. Add two dried chipotle peppers that have been soaked overnight to add that smoky flavor. Mix and cook until the curd is dissolved. You know it's ready when the ghee separates the gravy. Just add the coriander towards the end and let it simmer for another 2-3 to three minutes just before serving.